Tchau, pet. Extra honest. Extra unbiased. But a little bit shady. <laughs> Go ahead, like and subscribe. Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Del and you're here to be extra with Del. If you're new to my channel, then I must let you know that I blog about beauty patterns yearly and talk to you guys about my extra honest, extra unbiased opinions about the queens. And today, you guys, this video is going to be exploring the new videos released by the Miss Universe or, uh, Philippines organization about a video called Her Story, where we kind of get a sneak peek who the girl is, not just her as a person, but what she stands for. So in this video, I will be giving you guys my extra honest, extra unbiased opinion, per always, uh, on who my top 10 girls that really stood out to me. Some are a shocker and some are absolutely was predicted. And so if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's go. For my number 10 goes to the one and only, the queen from Albay, Miss Universe Philippines, Albay. So you guys, she's an animal rights activist. My she loves dogs. I mean too, you guys. I love dogs and cats. Comfort when times break down. She is beautiful, you guys. This woman really is one of the most fresh face of Miss Universe Philippines. Oh, you guys. This makes me sad. These people need to be punished, okay? Oh, you guys. Look at little doggies. Many animals end up being euthanized in pounds if they are not cleaned or adopted. Well, I love this advocacy, you guys. And by supporting interactive programs that benefit both humans and animals, we can work towards creating a better world for all. Yes, we love canines. Um, so I love her. I think she's one of the most stunning that actually has really surprised me this year. I really love how she looks. I love her advocacy. It's different, and maybe she would. She might even dig deeper to those topics where, like, you know, with like eating dogs and stuff like that. I know. Okay, whatever. Don't call me racist, but there are some. There are instances where, like, Asian people eat dogs. Okay, um, I don't care what anybody says, but I've seen it myself. So, uh, please, I love this advocacy, and I think it stands out. She's a little too soft spoken for me, so there's not much conviction. But I really love her. For my number nine, I have the one and only Miss Universe Philippines, Naik. Check out this gorgeous babe. So if you don't understand Tagalog or whatever she's saying, wait, is she speaking Tagalog or is it a different dialect? Um, anyway, there's a uh, translation, so. She's beautiful, you guys. She's really blew me away. I, I did not expect this. She really is beautiful, you guys. Oh, she's a mechanical engineer. I love that. Stunning, you guys. This woman is a freaking gorgeous queen, you guys. Oh, that crown is huge. <laughs> oh my God, it's bigger than her head. Okay, you guys, so for me, I really feel like Naik is one of the girls that really shook us me and blew me out of the, like, just out of nowhere. And I never heard of this city or place in the Philippines ever. And to me, just to see that she is, I think from her previous video, she said she's the first representative to representative to, to represent the, the province or um, city that she's in, Naik. And um, I really, really feel like she is one of the girls that really has really surprised us all, you guys. This woman is beautiful. She speaks eloquently. Um, hopefully her English is not, um, her English is good as well. So we'll see about that because I do think that bilinguality is required and it's a must to win Miss Universe. So uh, we'll see you guys. What do you guys think of her? For my number eight, someone called a doctor because it's going to be Palawan. Um, doctor, doctor is my number eight because she is just surprising me also, you guys. Let's check her out. Beautiful. That neck is so long. You guys, this is a unique beauty. I'm loving that. I was raised in a home where love was abundant. 
My father made sure that she I was speaks care. so well. And look at her body. She's so long, like a lizard. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> a beautiful lizard. Okay. Growing up beside the shore is indeed a blessing. Look at that walk. I bet you she's gonna be like walking really, really well. But that all changed when my father was dying. The scenery is so beautiful, you guys. And no hospital doors would open up for us. Aww. So at 14, I learned how to take care of a cancer patient at home. Aww, you guys. Her dad had cancer. Just like a dangerous wave hitting me. I was drowning with no one to call for rescue. Just like a stuttering wind that used to be a beast. Wow, is she like a poet or something? What is she? Are these her own words or is she like copying and pasting something? Like Fredonia of Thailand. Row your boat. Yes, gently down the stream, girl. I'm now rowing my boat in the direction of growth to arrive at my destination, the universe. What a great video, you guys. That I will eventually be buttered by waves once more. But I have a boat with me. That was constructed out of my weakness. Stunning, you guys. This woman has a body so, of a queen. Like, seriously. Again. I really love how she speaks, you guys. What an impressive video. I love the video. I think the way she speaks is really, really appealing. And she sounds really incredible to listen to. But my problem is it didn't allow me to get to know her more. Of course, it's, it gave us a little bit of a glimpse of what her dad went through and stuff like that and how she had to help him. But ultimately, we needed more. But I really feel like she stood out out of this, like, her story um, scenario thing eh, that they just put out. And for my number seven, it's going to be Angeles. Or, An is it Angel Angeles, right. Angeles. I was going to say Angeles because, you know, from Los Angeles. So I was going to say Angeles. But Angeles is this gorgeous morena queen. You guys, check her out. Maya Payado. Beautiful, Yaku you guys. Joanne Thornley. Joanne, wow. Oh, like Lady Gaga's album. Amenas. One thing about us queens is we're not just about the Beautiful, perfection. you guys. Growing this bitch up, is stunning. Oh, age. she's half white. I didn't have it all. I did not we expect that started. at all. But through my parents' perseverance, we got by. In wow, she does not look half white at all. Accomplished woman. Look at her. What a easy. gorgeous goddess, right? This result, woman is stunning, stunning, myself. stunning. I developed body dysmorphia and an eating disorder. Oh, girl. But my journey taught me that becoming a queen is about embracing every part of who She's you are. She's beautiful, you guys. I am this universe made me feel so blown away of how impressive she my is. Fellow empowered woman. With the support of my community, and she speaks I so incredible. Little Joanne would look up to. And also through it all, I learned to become the person who is worthy of my own love. Love her. What a stunning, stunning Morena queen. So she's half white. I did not expect that. Um, but um, that allowed me to get into her mind a little bit. I thought I kind of felt like she should have talked about fashion more because I know that's what she talked about in her introduction video. So she could have related or tied all that together and what you know fashion means to her and how she's utilized that for good or something like that you know but i mean it's good to get to know her her bio a little bit but i did it i wish she would have transitioned it to um to to fashion because that's what she does so um all in all i think she's one, one of the girls that really surprised me in such a positive way you guys love her and for my number six it's going to be Quezon province atisa manalo Let's check out this familiar Perhaps queen. Recycled queen. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And entrepreneur. But I am certain okay, she's talking about entrepreneurship. Is she going to sound like a bully again? I did not grow up with privilege. In fact, ang nagpagal po sa akin ay ang aking lola at ang aking nino. Kaya ba Aww, na lang, I searched for ways to help put myself through school. This is where pageant Good for her. I joined my oh, pageant. A little queen right there. Oh my gosh, she looks exactly the same. Fueled by the love and the support of those around me. She looks very sweet and she still does. You guys, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Very Filipina beauty. Okay, that's her in Miss International. Her dress was horrendous during Miss International. I swear to God. I was like, who dressed her? That you are not I love this video. 
um, to believe in yourself, you guys. And so I love this video. I think it just kind of shows a little bit more of what Atisa Manalo is, where she came from, versus this is much better than her introduction video because her introduction video didn't shed a positive light on her so much. I get it, she's an entrepreneur, but it just kind of came off unlikable. But this is a story that many Filipinos and just many people, especially in Southeast Asia, where the idea of beauty pageant is really a road or a pathway to, um, you know, get out of poverty. So, and I think that she's a testament to that. It's not a unique story, but it's always really empowering and it's really, uh, it's a good feel when you hear it. So, um, and again, she's one of the front runners, but again, there is not that spark. There's the X factor that needs to be there. And I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, she's done this before. So to me, like that has to show that she has the X factor because she's already been a queen previously. So I don't know. I'm really, I'm really hard on her, you guys. But I mean, you know, I think her video still stood out. So I mean, I love that. And we're now cracking down to the top five, starting with Miss Universe Philippines, the gig, Kristen McGarry. And let's check out this gorgeous babe. Oh my god, I feel like I need I've to do yoga poses or something. A very conventional Breathe path. in. Breathe out. I've always went a little against the grain. Oh, stunning. You guys, is, is, it, is she in Manila? Where, where is she at? As is all of ours. Wow, those buildings are high. What I have is that in the Philippines? To always lead with a positive outlook. What a stunning skin you color, you guys. And no, you she is just a capable, unique beauty. Absolutely. I find beauty and passion in many things. Music. Wow. Art. Wellness, she definitely gives that um, and staying creative type of individual, and honestly. Staying creative. And I want people to know they can also excel in multiple facets, despite any adversity. Your race, your gender orientation, or your age. As long as you have the passion, the drive, the love that you guys There's no time restriction or time limit to she really course. is one of the stunning really ones you guys but just know everything i don't know is. this video is a little everything bit boring to me a little bit right now right and i love it she sounds great i love the voice i also have this very deep love for travel and for nature oh, our relationship gorgeous. to the world and one another is innate and we are all intricately interconnected right earth is our mother Okay. So wouldn't you feel the need to nurture and protect her as she's always done for us? Right. Regardless our mission or your personal journey. Just she know is beautiful. it never is too late. Okay, so so I like this video. I think it showcased a lot of her um what she's done and stuff like that, but ultimately I think it didn't get enough of like what she stands for. And of course, she, there's something that she stands for, but she needed to highlight that. These videos are made for individuals to ensure that they, they definitely display what they stand for, what they believe in, what their causes are, and advocacy. I feel like that's missing a little bit. I mean, it talks about a little bit of like her love for nature and stuff like that. It's that her advocacy. Does she love nature? What is it? So I'm a little confused with this video, but is it just showing of like, of her beautiful self in many aspects and different lights because that, we saw that she's beautiful obviously but it didn't give enough of who she is or what she is who she is now compared to what she is then so i feel like that's what she needs to do is find the um chris mcgarry now versus then so mm, but she's still one of the girls that really stood out to me because of that gorgeousness okay for my number four is going to be a surprise you guys it's going to be the community of Southern California. Yes, girl, represent Southern California. I love it. Let's check out this goddess. Ang buhay ay isang paglalakbay at hindi isang destination. Life is a thing oh, she speaks of Tagalog. In a different direction and finding beauty in every twist and turn of our path. I was born and raised in San Pedro, Laguna. I am the youngest out of 10 siblings, but only Oh, she looks beautiful. It wasn't that easy but they were all my first teachers when it comes to love i immigrated to the u.s at the age of 17. my first few years was oh, got it. i juggled multiple jobs right. 
Oh, girl, she worked at Jack in the Box. I'm loving it. No Two tacos for $1.99. These risks that I took led me to the best decision of my life. I learned my worth. And I'm a true She looks stunning, so you guys. Gave me you, this confidence. dress looks perfect. I met my husband, Christian, and I married him at 20. Uh oh, don't show her to Ariana Grande. She'll steal him. You trust yourself and you trust your heart. She looks my beautiful, story, you guys. To the journey of life. Where to next? Oh, no, girl, you're going to be late for your flight. Hurry up. She's all like trying to make a video like, girl, get on your flight. No, I'm kidding. Um, so I love the video so much. I like that the fact that she is from the Philippines and living here now. So I feel like she gets a pass to to be able to represent that that Filipino story that, you know, goes that goes overseas and um, find a new life and find a dream to um to make it, I guess, in a, in a simpler sense is to go to a different country and, you know, make it. And it's a tough life living in a developing country. It's like in Southeast Asia, such as Philippines, you know. But um, I like her story. She looks like a queen. I mean, she's sitting there and she just looks like a freaking queen. Well done. She understands where, she, where, where she's competing. She understands the vibe. She understands what how she needs to portray herself and i believe that she is one of the strong ones based on this and i just like the story she talks like a queen she looks like a queen and there is an x factor happening there and i think um i think she's she's she's, she's got a star quality and i love love her for my number three it's going to be miss universe philippines ilo ilo alexi you guys, what a shocker! I was running my this... entire life, running away from bullies, running away from discrimination. Look at that body, you guys. Oh, those chickens! Hey. Older, oh, that I should not run away from these challenges, but run after a goal to be better and to strive for greater. I am a wow. woman that defies boundaries, resonate with every single individual, inspires and empower all, and a quintessence of determination and perseverance. Showing wow, she's all kind of impressive, no you guys. It's too high to overcome. I conquered the field and is now ready to conquer the run, universe. girl, run! Bringing with me each and every Filipino. This is my advocacy. My name is Alexi May Kai Mosser Brooks, your Miss Iloilo Universe 2024. Yes, from sprinting to catwalking. I love it, you guys. What a freaking video. I love this video so much. And you know, to me, um, obviously my first impression of her was like, oh, a black queen. She's probably not gonna stand a chance because Filipinos hate dark skinned people. But to me, just like, she's really appealing very commercial and I really feel like she's appealing to the westernized um, audience here in the US as well as South in America in general. So she looks appealing. I think her beauty is a, a beauty that's, that is parallel to the beauty standards now. Um, I like that she's in sports and she's not just faking it. She really is in sports. And most importantly, I love this video, how she was able to tie her life struggles to um, her love for running and now tying it to running to be the next Miss Universe. So I think there's something uh, really cool about the video. Uh, it's super well put together. Uh, she presented herself well and she, it gave us exactly what she stands for. She stands for for sports, but she also gave us a little bit of the struggles that she's been through in her life. So a glimpse of it at least. But so and ultimately it was very likable and I can definitely see, see a girl like her getting highlighted by Miss Universe. Um, and, you know, inclusivity and everything like that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fake, not fake inclusivity, real inclusivity. She looks stunning. Um, con congratulations, Alexi. That was a good video. And for my number two, we have the one and only Miss Universe Philippines, Quezon City. Let's check her out right now, you guys. Ako si Lorraine, Lorraine that's her name. Stunning face, you guys. This is face for the gods, okay? Narinig ko na rin ang mga ito. Hindi raw ako she looks beautiful, you guys. 
sigurado raw sila na wala akong mararating. She's got an incredible face. Siya is super feminine. Oh, look at that walk. Ang isang representasyon ng isang ilaw na gagawin. Oh, she speaks the gal really well. Pero kahit ganoon, nilaban ko. Tinrabaho ko. Boses ko yung pinakinggan ko at ginawa kong posible ang lahat. Rumampa, kumanta, magpasaya at naging full. Okay, she's giving queen vibes. We love that outfit. Kaya mo lang. Nandito ako para maging representasyon at boses na malayo ang mararating natin sa buhay. Tandaan, She's tall. ang kababaihan ay hindi kailanman madidiktahan o malilimitahan What? ng lipo. I can't see the captions. Um, okay, first and foremost, she's stunning. That face is a queen face. Super small, super symmetrical, and she just looks like that aesthetic. That her face is absolutely the aesthetic that Miss Universe loves. Small, feminine, and just a goddess. Okay, that's what she looks like. Okay, I do think that she was wearing contact lenses. Uh, I'm not a fan of contact lenses, so I didn't like that. But I really feel like this woman is not only fresh but a, a, an incredible speaker, both in Tagalog and English. And I think she's a breath of fresh air. And the very fact that she keeps getting presented before Atisa Manalo, she's actually outshining Atisa Manalo a little bit. There's something beautiful about this girl. Let's just wait till she starts singing because she did mention in her introduction video that she's a singer. Girl, I really feel like this girl has got it going on. And I really, so I'm so proud of the dark-skinned girls in uh, Miss Universe Philippines this year. They really, really are um, just shining like diamonds. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> you guys, she's shining like a diamond, okay? And I'm loving it. And for my number one, it's going to go... To the one and only Miss Universe Philippines, Kainta Stacy. In 2011, my Lola Daisy founded a prison ministry at the Correctional Institution for Women, oh. where she took over 700 senior citizen inmates under her wing. Oh, wow. I've been coming here since I was 14 years old, so I've grown up right before their very eyes. I cannot wait to share a part of this transformative story with the Stacey, universe. Stacy, you're looking so beautiful. Oh wow, she speaks Tagalog really well. I didn't think that. I thought she knew she only knew English because her English is like perfect. Oh, they're praying. Everything I know about living with open heartedness, with a mindset of abundance. If you live with closed fists, what you have now is all you'll ever have. But if you live with open hands, ready to reach out to those around you blessing will flow through you i stand on her shoulders my story is her story oh my god this the tagline her story oh you guys that's gonna make me sad i'm gonna cry oh my god why am i gonna cry that was such a good video okay Compose myself. I need to compose myself. So, Stacy, that was an incredible video. You've got it. You have an X factor, and you've got this. You've got an incredible speaking ability, um, both in Tagalog and English, and that is to me so admirable. And I just love her. And it's all so natural. And that's what I freaking love. It's that she's just naturally good. She's not running off of the script. Everything is based off her life. And, you know, things become or things are easier to be said when things are just factuals or when it comes straight from the heart or it comes straight from your life experience. You know what I mean? Um, so she is. She kept it real, you guys. And what an incredible advocacy and is totally relevant. Women incarceration is a thing people don't really talk about, but there's women in there that are like, I know I've seen a lot of like crime shows where like women commit crimes because their husband cheated on them and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting to see what women are in there for. So I love that. And the video kind of that tugs your heart a little bit because it is kind of sad like it's dramatic but not in an annoying way it's it's a way it's just it's, it just tugs on your heart because it's relatable and relatability is one of the things that she really is embodying is relatability and in addition to that uh her tagline my story is her story perfect winner i can't nobody comes close even okay because that video was 
everything. I mean, and she looked, and she did, she didn't try to look like a queen. She just looked like a regular, beautiful Filipina goddess, um, you know, doing what she wants, she does best is reopening, uh, reaching out to those who, in, who are in need of help. And I love that. So, um, uh, Kainta, Miss Universe Philippines, Kainta, Wow, amazing. You are now way ahead of everybody else. But we'll see you guys because these videos are really giving us a glimpse of who these girls are. And Kainta really, really took us to a place where the other girls didn't. So congratulations, Kainta. You're my number one. <laughs> like, not like it matters, but but I swear to God, I'm, I'm, I'm really good at predicting things. So um, what do you guys think? Did you guys like her? I thought she was perfect. And that's about it, you guys. Uh, what did you guys think of the videos that the Miss Universe organization just recently released? I was very impressed because we love getting to know the queens a little bit more. It allows us to just kind of really find that right queen because, you know, Philippines need to bounce back from all that rigness that happened last year with Michelle D and for Antonia getting ahead of her. Really, girl? So this year, I really, really feel like Philippines need to find the balance, the perfect queen to represent Miss Universe Philippines. Because, you know, we must, Philippines must remain its powerhouse status of Asia. Don't let Thailand get to you guys. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but anyway, so I thought Stacy, um, Kainta, Quezon City, Ilo Ilo, Southern California community, as well as Taguig were the five girls that stood out to me in this. Um, Quezon Province could be in there too. But, you know, I expect so much from, like, um, Atisa Manala because she is a previous queen and she probably has the most resources out of all the girls because she's an entrepreneur. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, and she's probably got a lot of connection with all the industry, fashion as well as entertainment, um, film, whatever. So, um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. And I'm looking forward to uh, Miss Universe Philippines organization to release more videos and whatnot. And... I can't wait until May. Oh my God, I can't. We still got a whole entire month and a half. Or no. Yeah, no, a month and a half until we crown the next Miss Universe Philippines, which will be exciting. Um, that's about it, you guys. Again, thank you for watching the video. Um, like and subscribe. And if you guys um, are bored and just having Miss Universe anxiety, go ahead and check out my other videos and just kind of get to know me a little bit more. Like, I'm not that bad, I promise. Just a little bit shady. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, that's about it. Again, I want you to do something for me and stay beautiful and stay extra. Bye.